Oh my god! The type. Oh! Oh, they just hit the building! It's like the world's coming. Oh my god! The has re-intensified into a super typhoon. Muli pong lumakas bilang super typhoon ang bagyong may international name na Mawar. Taglay po nito ang mas malakas na hangin na 195 kilometers per hour. We are officially at the calm before the storm. It is all over the media, it's all over Twitter, it's all over the news. There is a super typhoon that potentially could be hitting the Philippines in the next few days. It is Thursday today and I think if it comes to the Philippines, it should make landfall late Friday or Saturday. So preparation is key. Right now we are on our way to Robinson's Magnolia because of a media event that we're having at Moors for our brand new pour over coffees and to also give an introduction to a few of the new food stalls that have opened up at Robinson's Magnolia. But we will use the opportunity to go and get some urgently needed uh, provisions at the mall, at the grocery stores that they have there. I'm thinking canned food, bottled water, just the necessities. If things get bad, you never know. If a storm hits, the water lines, the water mains might be turned off, the electricity might, power might go out. Uh, stores probably will close because people can't get to work so you really want to be prepared for the worst case scenario and buying like canned goods they won't go bad and worst case scenario if you don't use them up you can donate donate them at some point but definitely we want to be prepared for the storm and we will do so today but right now it's actually quite hard to believe because we have nothing but clear blue skies in BGC today no clouds whatsoever but the weather especially in the afternoons and evenings have been quite the weather has been quite bad in the evening and in the afternoon with thunderstorms and lightning very very frightening frightening me mamma mia mamma mia <laughs> oh life hack unlocked come to robinson's magnolia with a rooftop tent on your car and you get free parking because the car won't fit down there it's not free he's writing down the he's writing down the plate and the time I was excited for free parking. Well, at least it's premium parking because we right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so, so yes, yes. Wear the tent. Wear the tent. Wear the tent. <laughs> so, love, I heard you're going to be abandoning me during the typhoon. Excuse me. You're gonna be abandoning me during the typhoon. You mean you are gonna be abandoning? No, me. I'm going to be in our home, but you are going to abandon me. Yeah, so Grey is going to be visiting her family in Laguna this weekend. Yeah. As I said, abandoning me during the storm. No. It's exactly as I said it. It's not true. But also, I haven't seen my family in a while. let that sit for around 15 seconds before we do our very first pour. So that's also a very nice indicator if the beans are freshly roasted or not. So we're going for a total brew time of around 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So uh, you can taste those aromas a little bit from Robinson Magnolia to BGC for over two hours now, which I just made a rough calculation. It's seven kilometers from here to Robinson's Magnolia. So walking at a swift pace would have been faster than driving. We could have walked home from Robinson's Magnolia, stopped for coffee, some groceries, and still be home faster than with the car. <laughs> um. 
Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? What is happening? Oh my, oh god. my god! It's like the world's coming. What? Oh my god, the world's coming to an end here. What is going on? Oh no, your shoes are. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What is happening? Sorry, Clark. Oh! oh Whoa. You want to go for a swim? <laughs> It'll be our last swim, I think. <laughs> I mean, oh, look at the... Look at the it's crazy. Oh my god. Oh like, wow. Just imagine if unexpectedly you decided to fly today or if oh, we yeah. flew today and this is how the weather is. It's just insane. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen so much lightning <laughs> in, in like within such a short time period. I mean, you can see it on my face every time this flashing. That's literally lightning happening back there. Oh my God. What is going on here in Manila? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Crazy to think there's a type. Oh, oh, they just hit the building. It's crazy to think that there's a typhoon coming. It's not even here yet, and this is what we. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is crazy. I just switched to a little bit more of a suitable camera for nighttime filming. It is absolutely insane what is going on behind us here. I've never experienced a thunderstorm, a lightning, lightning like this. It's like crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's just like there's a constant rumble and the lightning literally doesn't stop for more than a few seconds. Um, it, there's, a, there's a constant rumbling sound of all the thunder. It's cra it is beautiful, but it is also scary at the same time. Nuts. Oh wow, that was a big one. Only in the Philippines, I swear. Only in the Philippines. Nowhere else have I ever experienced thunder and lightning and rain as much as you get it here in the Philippines. It's nuts. It's times like this that makes us realize how lucky we are still to have roofs over our head. Just imagine, imagine uh, street dwellers, imagine the homeless, a lot of, there's a lot of homeless people around Manila. And just imagine where would they seek shelter at times like this. Yeah. Like we are still lucky to have roofs over our head and that's something we're still thankful for. Yeah, even though it feels like the roof is going to be blown up from over our heads in any second now. It feels like... And it feels like we really should have packed for our emergency yeah. backpack. True. Because I feel like any minute now we're going to be losing electricity. Ooh.